What's up, guys? It's your boys, and we'll keep back with another scary, terrifying, and creepy video from Goose Pimples. It's going to be a mega scare. So, with that being said, grab a chair, grab some popcorn for our Goose Pimples Mega Sunday right here, right now. So, let's take a look. If you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe right now by hitting that web bar icon down at the bottom right. Smack that bell icon next to it. So I do post videos like this one. You get that little ring notification that's Wokey myself has posted that video. And you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, thank you guys so very much for the continued love and support that all of you guys show on this channel every single day. I can't thank you guys enough. Keep doing what you guys are doing and we'll continue to grow together. Speaking of growth, check out the link in the description for Goose Pimples themselves. It's a husband and wife that love the paranormal as much as you and me, possibly even more, and compile it together for a scary compilation including today's which is a mega compilation and then they put it together as for us to enjoy to get scared and lose ourselves in terror so go over to their channel watch their old stuff watch their new stuff give them a like subscribe and give them the love that the love that they deserve and with that being said get ready for an hour of mega scare right here right now Like a little, little school if you've ever wished for the confidence to investigate an abandoned building, take some notes from this guy because he seems thrilled to be doing it. While investigating a seemingly abandoned building, Mr. Fitry clocks that he might not be the only thing stirring up chaos at stupid o'clock. Probably not. <laughs> Aggressive. My boy is breathing. He's like, he's like Lamaze breathing. Does that say at the door? Why is it that like over there the like ghosts are like super aggressive? They'll take like a desk and be like and if the door is opening on their that own, desk. and cabinet scraping along the floor wasn't enough, he also seems to start flying off. What the is handle, that? Oh quite literally. Oh He's like arguing with the ghost. Don't get unshattered. Does he eat himself in there? <laughs> Why? I think he broke his tailbone. <laughs> Can't tell if he's trying to blend in or he's just gone utterly <laughs> cuckoo with shock. He's being possessed by a humorous ghost a before anyone gets hurt. Too late. The ghost is off in the distance like... No idea what he's saying, but at this point, We're neither dead. does he, it seems. <laughs> Whenever you decide to take on a paranormal invest... Whenever you decide to take on a paranormal investigation, be sure to prepare for the worst. Especially if you're going on your own. Probably because should. Because YouTuber Adian got a lot more than he bargained for while exploring at an unholy hour. His seemingly science-defying experience may leave you speechless. It's also Take stupid clock. Oh, this Allah is that Allah one. Allah. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. How do you fake that? Ah! Guys, go out there, John. The figure, or whatever the hell that was, seemed to disappear through the ceiling. Look at that. Which sent this guy into a frenzy. It looks this like the floor ate it. This some great video editing skills, but we can't really spot any in this one. No. But it is undoubtedly one of the creepiest clips that we've seen in a while. 
tunnels tend to trigger claustrophobia and paranoia in quite a few people. That's not that bad. You can blame horror movies for that. But, if it's super but for some right. reason, this guy didn't get the memo and thought it would be a great idea to investigate a strange noise emanating See, out of the that's cylinder. that's a little too small. He didn't spend too long in there, though, because something was waiting for him. If you don't believe in skinwalkers, maybe you will after this. Take I think I do. I think I do. Uh, when, when it's like... <clears throat> when my man should be home watching Netflix. He's in a tunnel looking for skinwalkers. That sounds like one of those what World War Z zombies. Nope. Go away. Hello? My dude's not taking the hint. And this is where we never see him again. And he goes, What kind of creature was that? It definitely wasn't an animal, but it also doesn't look human. It's Jessica! <laughs> Tasha's family had just moved into a new house when they decided to renovate it. But as soon as they started messing with the walls, it was as though they had awakened something that had been asleep for a long off time. The ghost. One day, when she was alone, a picture fell out of nowhere. So she decided to start recording these strange events on camera Good idea. to prove she was not going crazy. But what she caught sent a chill down his spine. Take a look. Whenever See, you, and you think I'm crazy the first time I'm here by myself, there's a picture. I'm the Whenever you change something in a home and it's haunted, the ghost is going to get pissed off. Floor and it just... Things got worse after this. Every single morning, it's like you she put woke a picture up, up to more things on the floor. Yeah? So that night, she left her camera pointing to what seemed to be the paranormal hotspot. And that's when she caught some pretty terrifying evidence that her house might truly be haunted. Every single morning, things are on the floor. Because it doesn't morning. want to have keto. So I'm going to hook up my computer and see if I catch anything tonight. Maybe it's just rodents, but we're going to find out. A rodent. It's not going to push your keto book off the counter. Oh, you see the mouse? <laughs> nope. It's like, yeah. Stupid keto. Whatever that, that was. After I don't remember that. the video, she discovered that something or someone the had pulled shack. the books down. Then a rather sinister giggle can be heard at the end of the video. <laughs> She kept answering the comments with more videos to prove she wasn't pulling tricks. There's a hole but in the wall. While watching Come on. one of those videos, one of her viewers noticed her dog was freaking out. So she invited paranormal investigators to check what was happening. But even they were in disbelief at how creepy the events unfolded. That likes to knock books over. Can you say hi? Mommy. 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 Are you trying to find your mommy? Are you looking for mommy? Yes. Yes. I have nowhere to even near it. And it's going off like crazy. Yeah, it's... So, I definitely feel something else. Whoa, look at the EMF. Yeah. In the <laughs> hall. So that is where um, my dog gets scared. Listen so, to your pets. I don't remember seeing this one. You wanted us to come to the hall. This is why we, we watched up because I don't remember this. You want to say hi? What, what the heck? Is that you? Greg, is that you? Yeah, as you can tell. 
Did you notice how some unseen force knocked over the picture frame? <laughs> that one when guy was like, uploaded the footage online. You saw that, right? What if her viewers noticed something no one could explain? What? Pay close attention, and you'll see a faint apparition that appears at the bottom of the stairs. Oh, is this the one I saw? Wait. Uh, if you can find peace, woman. Did you catch that weird it's like figure a as well? White. The whole experience becomes a whole lot spookier when you consider the number of orbs flying around in the video. Look at you. On the 27th of November 2022, paranormal investigator and professional TV panel moderator Carles Martinez received a terrifying video that left his audience going nuts. This scary video was captured in the Felix Bournes Hospital after a security staff member came across what he claims to be one of the many poltergeist cases he has seen while working for that hospital. Okay. But what could possibly leave him so creeped out this time? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Oh, this one where this guy like literally gets yanked out of his bed. A patient appears to be struggling with an unseen force. So much so that it gets the nurse's attention. The way his leg moves from one side he's of like, the bed okay? to the other seems everything but normal. It looks as if he's fighting for his life. And mind you, this wasn't the psych ward. So what could have spooked him that way? And why did his leg ghost, look like it was literally yanked? I guess we'll never know. But we'd love to hear your thoughts on this one. I love reading you guys' thoughts. Number 20. This serviceman isn't the victim of a wild night out. He seems to be the victim of something much more sinister. Must have been something in the MRE. <laughs> What was in that MRE? Possession? Does anybody know what he's saying? Can't tell if he's... Oh yeah. yeah. Like he could just snap be out of it. Day. But look at his face. After some research, we found out that he tended to frequently faint and lash out violently at the people around him when he awoke. He attacked his father once and has no recollection of it. But he would have to be throwing some pretty rough punches for the whole service crew but to tie like, him to the, I bed. Am in the bed. Is this a clip of something demonic or a bad case of mental illness? He had no documented health issues, so what could it be? I have no idea. Comment down below. Imagine a house where doors open on their own, objects go flying, and shadowy figures come out to play at night. That's what this guy to. claims to experience on a regular basis. So much so that his daughter is terrified of going home when it's getting darker. One night, when he was just watching TV, his light started freaking out, and little did he know, he was about to get one hell of a paranormal punch in the face. Estoy viendo la tele. Boom! Y de repente, no sé qué pasó, se apagó la luz. Oh, otra vez apagó la luz. Voy a buscar la linterna. Ah, se apagó la tele. Aquí está la linterna. Torch means flashlight. ¿Qué está pasando? No, 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 no mames, no mames. ¿Qué es eso? That looked like a shadow weirdo. A shadow dude. Oh, he ain't not there now. I feel like I would fall down those stairs, man. How big is the man's house? Se prendió la luz. Se está apagando la luz. Se está prendiendo la luz. Oh. 
He left the dogs. How dare you leave those pups? Sure, anybody could be wearing a black robe. True. But the dog's barking and his dead sprint towards his escape vehicle do add a certain level of spookiness to this clip. Yeah, after he lost, left think, his dogs. It's definitely creepy. Or is it? What's the deal about all these clips that we see online that show shadow figures leaving people running for their spare pants, yes. but nothing bad ever really happening? Peeping and creeping around? Is that all shadow weirdos can do? Hold on, let me grab my tiny violin. Seriously though, why don't we ever see these shadow weirdos attacking anybody? Exactly! They don't go, Witch! When this guy moved into his new apartment, he probably should have checked the history. Because if you move into a building erected in 1932, odds are it's haunted. Um, At differing times of the- Mine is built in 1833 and it's not haunted. At least I hope not. Day, a specific door gets hammered when nobody else is inside the apartment. But there's something sinister in that house. Oh. <laughs> you yeah. Be fucking kidding me. Don't As say if the that. violent knocking wasn't enough, something is lifting the cross off the wall. And if you thought the banging was coming from somewhere else in the apartment complex, take a look at this. So it seems to be wanting to happen now more in the afternoon, but just to prove that there's nothing it's there. The closet! Jesus Christ. It only responds when the door is flung open, but every single time he checks, there's nothing there. Creepy, nothing. isn't it? Yes. But what makes videos like this even creepier is their unknown nature. Still, not as creepy as the unknown depths of our oceans. Yes, I hate that. That's why we play Fish and Clash, a fun and chilling way to find some bizarre no. fish you've- No sponsorship here. Nope. If you thought the Paranormal Activity franchise was frightening, wait until you watch the brutal supernatural events that have been plaguing this poor Brazilian family. It all started when they suffered an unspeakable tragedy, losing one of their own at the hands of a merciless intruder. But as they would soon realize, their departed brother may not have crossed over to the other side just yet. Uh -oh. And boy, does he have some unfinished business. The fear has been palpable ever since, especially in the bathroom where their sibling took his last breath, a true paranormal hotspot which now serves as a portal to the unknown. The echoes of terror still linger within its walls, mainly affecting the boy's sister, who claims to feel unseen hands glasping at her flesh when she's in the shower. Priests have failed and fled from the malevolent force that haunts the place. And as the family desperately searches for answers, their last hope is to seek the help of this team of paranormal investigators. But the horrors that lie ahead are beyond comprehension. So hold on to your seat and get ready for this burst of poltergeist fury. I'm holding on! You said that your brother morreu aqui nessa casa, a tirar a vida dele dentro do banheiro. Tem como mostrar onde foi esse banheiro? So we are un unlived himself. Esse aqui, né? Ele já começou. Por favor, a minha mãe morreu. Por favor, deixa em paz. Don't blame him. Calma, calma. Fica calmo, calmo. Respira fundo. The mouse breathing. Respira fundo, respira fundo, calmo. Oh, ele só That's quer assustar, entendeu? Só quer te deixar desequilibrado, entendeu? Quer fazer com que a gente fique assustado, entendeu? Nervoso. Respira fundo, fica calmo, entendeu? Pense em Deus, pense em coisas boas, tá bom? Tá bom, respira fundo. A gente tá aqui contigo. Respira calmo. Beer. Viu? Ele só quer tentar assustar a gente. É só um, um, mais um desequilibrado, só isso, tá certo? Você tem condição de continuar? É... Porque é importante, tem, não tem? Escutar música. Então, é, me mostra como foi que o seu irmão faleceu. Calma, calma. Calma, calma. Pera. Calma, fica calma. Respira, entendeu? Mas quando ele vai. Pull and be like. I want to know how they faked that. If that was faked. Tell me how it's faked. It doesn't even look faked. You don't see no rock. 
Somebody mentioned that somebody's behind the wall and somebody hit it. But there's a brick wall. Thoughts? Here, opinions? Respira, respira, respira. Ó, vai ficar tudo bem, tá? Mas fala aí, Pedro, pega uma cadeira. Pensa em coisas boas, coisas positivas, né? Foca em Deus, olha, olha, olha pra mim, olha pra mim, olha pra mim, né? Pensa em coisas boas, tá bom? Foca, olha, não, olha pra mim, olha pra mim, ó. Respira fundo, respira fundo, respira, respira. Pensa em Deus, o quanto Deus é maravilhoso. Enquanto Deus é poderoso, entende? Nesses momentos a gente tem que focar e se concentrar. Vai, no... ah, senta aqui, ó. Vem. Tá de... Vem. Senta. Tô arrepiado, cara. Ó. Olha, olha pra mim. Calma, calma, respira. Respira. É, não filma mais ela não, vai pra ali, vai, vou conversar com ela. Olha, pensa em coisas, em coisas boas, pensa em Deus, tá? It's probably the only thing like ghost gear. After like all these violent happenings, EMS. the girl clearly panicking had to be taken outside to calm down while the group conducted a seance. They thought they were safely locked away from the bathroom until this happened and they lost their cameraman. A gente já viu várias manifestações. É, eu queria deixar claro para vocês, pessoal, que esses fenômenos são conhecidos como poltergeist, pessoal. Are they all triplets? Eles são muito conturbados, descontrolados. Eles são quase idênticos. Eles são quase idênticos com ele. E a gente vem aqui, né, Vitor? Né, Humildemente, pedir para vocês, pessoal, não julgar. Não julgar, pessoal, porque muitas vezes isso pode estar acontecendo na sua casa, na sua cozinha todas as noites, e você não percebe. Para para pensar. As noites, os, pra, os pratos se mexendo, as coisas acontecendo. Por isso a gente vem pedir, pessoal, pra vocês não julgar, viu? Eu vi desespero, né? A minha, quando ela ficou. É, eu... chorando. Chorando, ela teve que sair, ela e saiu às pressas daqui. Bem melhor, pessoal, ela sai. Tá aí, gente, ó. Aí, aí é pra, pra, pra distante, vocês verem, né? Ó, direto, acontece. Ele... Pede ajuda aqui, não. Oh, oh he's about to pass calma, out. Calma, calma, respira. Segura a fumadora. Respira. Segura a fumadora. Segura, segura. According to them, the air was thick with negativity, and the urge to vomit washed over them like a tidal wave. Thankfully, one of them is a first aider, so they all left the place for a couple of hours to ensure the cameraman was safe and sound oh, before they made another attempt to conduct the seance. But as soon as they started, things took a turn for the worse. Keep hearing Watch. Provavelmente, Marcos, eu sei que você tá aqui. Sei que você tá vendo aqui. Eu não quero que você veja isso como algo para zombar de você ou algo assim parecido. A gente quer um contato. Humildemente, meu irmão está aqui para tentar ter um contato com você. Então você pode se aproximar da gente, né? pode tentar conversar com a gente, entendeu? Pode tentar manter uma faixa mental junto com a gente. Se aproximar também do aparelho, se você se sentir à vontade. E uma coisa eu te peço. Né? Tente se comunicar com a gente, porque a gente está querendo né, entrar em contato com você. A gente sabe como foi que você desencarnou aqui de uma maneira violenta, e a gente sabe que você é desequilibrado, realmente você é, né? Você está agredindo a gente, entende? Então, se concentra, né? se aproxime, a gente vai emanar energia para você, e tente se comunicar com a gente, ou em toque, ou em conversa, né? Ou em How energia, mas tem que se comunicar com a gente, beleza? A gente não sabe né, com que forma ele so vai vir, ele vai agir, né? Isso. Se você quiser se materializar em cima do, do Paulo, pode se, se, se apresentar aqui, né? Se consente sua energia. Se quiser pegar no, no, no braço do Paulo, na perna dele, no pescoço do Paulo, né? Vai, Paulo. Fica à vontade. Se concentra. Tenta pegar no pescoço do Paulo. Don't grab his neck. Meu Deus do céu. Olha, olha, olha. Meu Deus. Piado. Você não vai assustar a gente, entendeu? Deus é poderoso. Deus é maior que você. Você não, não é maior que Deus. Você não é maior que Deus. Você não é maior que Deus. Deus é muito maior que você. 
você não vai assustar a gente. Você não vai assustar a gente. Ele tá querendo desafiar, mano. Acho que ele pensa que a gente quer bater de frente com ele. Tô me tremendo todinho, cara. Olha isso, ó. Filma oh, isso, cara. Tô me tremendo todinho, ó. Oh, Olha isso, shaking. Quebrou tudo, mano. Quebrou tudo, ó. Olha aqui, ó. Mostra aqui, ó. Mostra, vem, vem, mostra. Ó. Quebrou tudo, gente, ó. Ó. One thing that makes this activity more compelling is the fact that they were pretty quick to show us that there are no mechanisms attached to the drawers, and there's no way a string could achieve that coach. violent slamming, especially when the drawers are clearly heavy cricket? and hard to move. But what do you Jiminy think cricket. of all these creepy events? Is it a family haunted by their past, or some blockbuster-level special effects? It looks creepy, Let us know man. in the comment section, and don't forget to subscribe to their YouTube channel for more terrifying footage like this. Sixteen. Which is scarier, a poltergeist roaming free in your house or a possible break-in? Probably Both. the latter, which is why the lady in this next clip called the police to her property after she went shopping and returned to an open door. The police went in to investigate, expecting someone trying their luck at a burglary, but what they actually found left them trembling. Take a look. Okay. Does anyone live in the house? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, my husband, myself, and our two kids, but they're out of town right now. They're with his parents. And how many rooms do you have? Um, two upstairs and one downstairs. All right, uh, we're going to have to go. And this is where the police go in there. Go in. Yeah, yeah, of course. And it's raw footage, so it's not like it's doctored. Just stay here, man. Police, if anyone's here, make yourself known. Oh, man. I'd maybe jump. Anyone inside? Is where it gets interesting. Police, anyone inside? Make yourself known. This footage was released after the officers claimed the house was haunted, and boy, can we see why? <laughs> it's like, um, we're not paid for this. I believe this to be real. I'm not, I'm just saying. I don't know what you guys think, but I believe this to be real. Some commenters seem a bit skeptical of this video, asking why the lights weren't turned on and why there were no clothes in the closets. Because it's there an are Airbnb. explanations for this. The home is used as an Airbnb quite a lot, and exactly. the children, father, and pets were out of town that day, so most of the stuff wasn't there at the time of filming. And the lights are off because they said even before the power went out and only some of it came back on. And when you're clearing rooms like I did for military, you're not turning lights on. You have a flashlight for that. Yeah. Yeah. We're, yeah, we're good. And the officers left the lights off because the changing lighting would leave their eyes to adjust for a few seconds, exactly. which would make them more susceptible to an attack. 
but no one seemed to be talking about the fact that so many doors seemed to open on their own, with nothing behind them. And nobody has really mentioned the figure you can barely make oh, out I didn't standing see that in the doorway to the bedroom when the officer is backing off down the I stairs. Didn't see that. What do you think this is? A break in that ended with a quick getaway or something a little more paranormal? Let us know your thoughts. Number 15. In this video, uploaded by the YouTube channel Too Spooky for You, a man was <laughs> filming himself riding his bike when, out of nowhere, something jumped in front of him that almost sent his bike tumbling. Take a look. Oh, I think I remember this. Somebody said it was a it is monkey. It that whatever jumped out of those walls definitely scared the crap out of him. But as he turned to check out what it was, it was gone. That might have been a monkey, probably a bold one. Or it was a juvenile Wendigo, and he was lucky to make it, it out of that like lonely a monkey. path alive. What are your thoughts? I don't Let look like know. a monkey, man. Comment your thoughts down below. YouTuber World Paranormal has seen some super scary paranormal activity, so they decided to set up some hidden cameras to capture the bizarre moments. Okay. And oh boy, did they catch a right spook fest. Okay. Take a look. Okay. Oh, this is when the one with the daughter's room. Like, it wants to tell a story. The song is very soothing, but creepy at the same time. I don't think I would let my kids back in there if I saw this. It'd be pretty much a memorial room. Because I would not let my kids go in there again. Like my violin play. Looks like Andy's playing games again. This is what the original uh first moving its arm and Annabelle look like. Now it wants to fall to the floor. <sighs> this is kinda cool though. I'm really glad uh it likes to be active lately. Well ever since I took it out of the cabinet because we got this set. So now I keep it. I feel out, like it tilted its head. I don't know. It's pretty cool though. <clears throat> Is there anything here? Well, I mean, the doll fell on the floor, but that could have been anything. Make a knock or a sound. Or move the dog again. Oops, there's an orb. Are you a little kid? What's that? Are you grown? Can you make the doll move? Do it. Can you tell me your name? Do 
feel like I'm waiting for that doll to blink. I'd Can lose you not? Staring contest. Is the cabinet haunted? Yo. There's more dolls in there. I forgot he's got more dolls. Why does he have more dolls? Bro. The ghost is like, you want to see my doll collection? No. We're good. Is that you who are uh, open? No, don't even answer that. <laughs> I might be done with this pretty soon. <sighs> Bro. I'm good on that. What began as mere objects moving on their own, and orbs flying around, escalated into something that would make him consider moving. So, um, this is where the again. stuff was inside and it was moving. Um, that little bottle of candy you see right there either jumped or slid or rattled, but I heard the candy shake for sure. That definitely wasn't quiet about that. So we're going to see what we can get. Can you make a move again? If there's anything here, can you make a move again? We're watching. Well, in the meantime, here's our uh, new beautiful cabinet we got for the um, haunted dolls. Which got is it probably like haunted bucks. in itself. I had to clean it. Oh! It's in the reflection. Super dusty. And then it turns out that the dolls won't even fit in it. Dang it! Which sucks because it is such beautiful. It's still there. A lot of space down here, but it doesn't move. You know, I'm not doing that. I don't want to shelter them. What do you think? Comment your thoughts down below, please. Um, but yeah, we're still gonna use it for something else, though. I guess continuing to look for uh, a better space for the antiques and haunted items. While showing off the cabinet that he'd got for haunted dolls and antique items, he caught a shadowy apparition standing right behind him in the Doesn't cabinet Doesn't even flip it, see it! But this wasn't the only creepy footage captured in his haunted apartment, so make sure you subscribe to World Paranormal to stay up to date with his hair-raising experiences. We're gonna go do it after this. Thirteen! Don't get sleepy Saying on me! the word Wendigo will make most people's hair stand on end. But nothing compared to the woman that recorded this video of her front garden. Oh. Oh. It looks like Michael Myers. Okay. He's like taking his knife and just dinging it against the, the, like the thing, but it's actually the door. Sanctuary! Sanctuary! And there he is. What the bleep is that? And then she comes back and for some reason the camera looks better. I think she gets a light. I can't remember. Yeah, she gets a flashlight. There's a flashlight on your phone. And of course, now it's gone. Kitty. <laughs> Forgot about that. All we can make out in this clip is a blurry shape of a tall, pale person. Michael Myers. But in her next TikTok, someone brightened the image. And the product is petrifying. After their first encounter with the fondly named Horn Man, they packed up and left to stay with the family for a few days. But when they returned home, 
things were still happening around that house. She says she has begun oh. experiencing night terrors, where she would awaken screaming she and covered in painful bruise -y, bruises. Though. But what the hell was that thing outside? Either that's somebody wearing an animal skull and a robe, or it's some kind of Wendigo. Like my Which one would be the scariest for you? Let us know. Do it. Having a security camera in your kid's room, especially the younger ones, could help you keep your eyes on them. You know how much trouble they can get into when hey. they're not around. Hey, Amen to that However, one. However, this security camera captures an anomaly you don't see every day. Take a look. Okay. What? I've never seen this one before. As the girls were going about their business of turning the room upside down, a figure was caught running, seamlessly emerging from the wall and vanishing into thin air. This one is hard to tell. It could be a bug at the perfect timing and distance from the camera to give the illusion of someone running. I don't know. But without much info from the uploader about the history of the house or reports of other weird things happening, it's just one of those creepy videos that will never be truly explained. Comment your Maybe thoughts a camera below. glitch or perhaps a little paranormal tenant. What are your thoughts about this one? Let us know. Yes, do it now. Eleven. While enjoying the sunshine one afternoon, this group of people noticed something really weird floating around in the house over the road. Oh, this one! It's like goes. I would not get any closer. Nope. How does this girl not see it? Yeah, she sees it. She's like, girl, you see that? She's like, I am not gonna be on America's Most Wanted as the person that died. It keeps going. What in the fresh hell was that? Thinking it must be it's their neighbor, fast. one of them goes to check it out, but no one answers the door. I love her face yeah, expression. That thing keeps speeding back and forth. She's like, oh. Obviously, they try to rationalize it. Maybe it was one of the kids who was just running around. Not that fast. Even though it looked like a tall figure. Or maybe someone was messing with the curtains because they didn't want to be seen. But when they called their neighbor to double check if they were okay, Nobody was home. she said the house was completely empty that day and she had no idea what they were talking about. So if nobody was home, who was running to and fro? Either there's something really wrong with this woman's curtains or there is an uninvited guest running laps through the house. Ghostbusters. Number 10. There are so many stories about bad experiences with Ouija boards out there. Yes, that's why you're on Yet them. somehow, people keep playing with them. Agreed. Catalin got one from Amazon out of sheer curiosity. She already knew the board was bad news, but she never expected the terrifying experiences she was about to go through at night when she was the only one home. Watch. And then she's like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. That's why you don't touch it in the first place. Girl, stay in bed, because that demon is going to grab you by your ankles and pull you under the bed. It sounds like a dungeon down there. That just sounds like somebody's playing on its speakers. Okay, that doesn't. This girl oh booked it. And this ghost sounds heavy because it's pounding. I'd be pissing my pants right about now. Those sheets are in comforter is white, but it's about to be yellow.
They both open at the same time, which is creepy as crap. And I think they slam at the same time, too. And you see orbs. Here it goes. Part three. Somebody says you could see a figure, but I don't see a figure. Here it comes. Does she have a baton? She's about to outdo you and cheer you, man. Oh, it's a golf club, not a baton. What the hell were those sounds at the bottom of the stairs? And how did the knocking change from one door to another so fast? Exactly. Unless she had about five friends hiding off camera, there's something seriously spooky living in that flat. I have chills. She also explained that her friends wanted to take the board <coughs> to an abandoned building, but when she went to grab it, it had vanished God. out the back of her wardrobe putting it out of sight and mind for a year and a half and not connecting the scary experiences Good. with the board, she kind of forgot it existed. But while she was moving out of her old apartment, she found it again, oh, gosh. completely spotless, while everything surrounding it was covered in dust. Spooky, isn't it? Yes. Number nine. Skateboard Chris has been living in a haunted house for a few years now, and the footage he has been capturing on camera is nothing short of That's fascinating. Been my terror. One night he was in for some chill time off work, only to realize that he wasn't, in fact, the only one kicking back for the evening. He's about to get some goose pimples. Oh, you want a drink? Nope. Of course, after this strange event, he started monitoring his security cameras, as there was a lot more to understand what exactly was going on inside his home. But with every new footage he captured, he seemed to get more questions than answers. Listen to your dogs. Your pets. It's happening again. James, you better come take I care of this. It's not like a vibration. I got <laughs> this video was taken when his family visited, but it's safe to say they weren't planning a sleepover after seeing that. The activity began to scare him more and more as it became less predictable. His security cameras captured strange happenings all the time, but what he really wanted was to actually see it with his own eyes and capture the moment with his phone. But every time he tried, his phone would freak out. That's when he thought of buying a GoPro. Smart and idea. what a great call that was, because what he captured with it turned out to be much harder to explain. Take a look. I think the things in the cabinet move. Like the teacup. I think it's the teacup that moves. Why the fuck is he taking a picture, bro? That's a video. Come on now. Excuse the French. Bro. It will not work. It won't do anything. Nope. See the teacup? Teacup? 
Phones can sometimes malfunction and slow down, as this one did here. But it seems incredibly creepy that one after another, the security cameras backfired. Chris's phone started to break and stuff started moving from behind the closed glass doors. The footage Chris captured throughout the years seems pretty genuine to us, but what do you think? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to follow Skateboard Chris on TikTok for more creepy footage like this. Do it! Number 8! Sometimes when you turn your stereo up full blast, <laughs> you might not just be disturbing your neighbours. As it turns out, some paranormal beings might not be your biggest fan either. Take a look what happened when these guys went a little overboard with their tunes. Okay. What is it? Don't hear that? What is what? It's like banging outside. My neighbor's talking about us or something. This are being too loud. Not very good, uh, Rap City. Oh, oh! It wasn't uncommon for their neighbors to complain about the loud music, but this time, after hearing somebody banging on their window, they started recording to prove that their music wasn't that loud at all. But as soon as they went outside to check, Something behind what the shed. looked like one of his weird neighbors was watching from behind the shed. Big boo! Scared, he cut the footage out abruptly by accident, and unfortunately, we have no idea what happened next. <sighs> But can you imagine going outside at night to find this shadow weirdo hiding behind your shed? Shadow dude. No thanks. Number seven. The story behind the building in this next clip is pretty murky, but regardless, abandoned maternity hospital this guy's are got three some good words that strike skills. fear into the hearts of many. Especially for this Kazakhstani urban explorer, after realizing his camera caught something truly bone chilling. Take a look. While he's doing the drone? Oh. Are those eyes? Oh! Oh! In the corner. To the left. To the left. Back it up. Uh. Go back! That's not a good star. Bet you missed it, didn't you? Let's slow it down for you. That's either a shadow person, or someone draped in a black cloak, just standing there in the corner like a freakoid. Not sure which one's most terrifying though, but where the hell did it come from, of course, and why the is it there is in like the first place? P. According to the uploader, this is a video of an abandoned maternity hospital, where many atrocities took place. But could that be a lost soul? or an evil doctor still lurking around. What do you think? Or perhaps it was just this dude's mate standing in the background for a good laugh. Leave a comment with your thoughts. Here's a weird one for you. Okay. This next video has been circulating the scary compilation channels for how creepy it seems at first glance. But is it really something paranormal? Well, let's find out. Okay. Oh, this one. I don't even know how. Somebody says that this girl is picking up her cat to bring her over. You don't see her hand. The uploader claims their cat protects them from ghosts, and most paranormal channels are featuring this video as potentially real supernatural events. I don't even but see let's the zoom hand. In, shall we? Can you see a hand? Wait, what's that? Is that her hand? Doesn't it look like her arm grabbing the cat? She even turns her head as the cat <coughs> levitates. <coughs> okay, maybe it's You see, fake. the videos from most personal security cameras come in low resolution to ensure more hours of captured footage and less storage required. This poor quality can sometimes lead to glitches where moving objects True. seem to disappear in plain sight. True. But in this case, even with the low resolution, we can clearly see her arm, so no idea okay. why everyone's making such a big fuss about this video in the paranormal okay. community. Sure, it definitely looks creepy, but is it really paranormal? Or do you also see that arm there? Let us know in the comments section. I do see it now that you said it. Not paranormal. After it's getting creepy. a notification on her phone, Reddit user Momento Mori1031 checked the security camera just outside her house to see what might have triggered it. Okay. Little did she know that her camera had captured something that would leave her shocked into something disbelief. Freaky diggy. 
Is this probably just a camera glitch? Maybe. Possibly. Here it comes. But it looks like it's wearing some type of dress. The footage show what seems to be a pale apparition of someone wearing a wedding dress while wandering ominously through the night. Now, we've seen our fair share of home CCTV footage to recognize a spider web near the camera lens. True. And this is definitely not, not the it. case. But what do you think this Reddit user captured that night? Camera glitch? Cheeky video editing shenanigans? Or something far more sinister? I don't know! Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Yes, comment down below. Number four. Exploring haunted buildings at Schubert o'clock can be an exciting three, idea 3 for Halloween. That is, until the paranormal come out to play, as these guys would soon experience first hand. Built in 1870, with prisoners violently forced to mine the rocks for the walls, the old Idaho penitentiary soon became overcrowded, with extreme temperatures and a lack of proper plumbing or ventilation. Gross. Hundreds of souls perished behind the very walls they built, succumbing to a gruesome combination of old age, illness, and murder. Ugh. With all the inhuman conditions over 30,000 inmates had to endure throughout the decades, it comes as no surprise that the it's prison haunted. has been known for paranormal activity and accounts of strange sounds, voices, and dark entities. Gross. Of course, Josh Fletch and a group of friends discarded all the warning signs and had to sneak inside in the dead of night. And did it anyway. Spooky outing soon turned into a high-speed chase when Josh decided to be a rebel and climb to a forbidden area. And according to his own words, he got just what he deserved. Is Take this the one look. that's at the end of the hallway that, like... I uh, may or may not have climbed up. Because there's no stairs. So he walks to the end and he sees an apparition on the right side. Right about... Here. <laughs> Bet you missed it, didn't you? In nah. the last cell, before Josh screams bloody murder, there's the shadow of a muscular build lurking behind bars. He's built different. Could it be the spirit of Raymond Allen Snowden, it looks a similar. notorious inmate known as Idaho's Jack the Ripper? He was convicted of cold-blooded murder in 1956 and sentenced to death by hanging at the notorious suck. penitentiary. The terror lingered until the very end as the trap door snapped open, but the noose only choked him, not ending his life quickly, as uh, you can imagine. He hung there, so he gasping for breath for a full 15 minutes uh, before finally succumbing to suffocation in a slow, torturous death oh man whether it was the spirit of this notorious inmate or not these guys were not sticking around oh, to find mercy. out a dollar general staff member was checking the cctv cameras around 6 a.m to Dude, start his shift when he found something so creepy he'll never forget uploaded by the humansville paranormal society the following scary surveillance footage was captured around 2am from the office of a Dollar General store in Humansville, Missouri. Take a look. So an office. Looks like it goes right up oh, and goes right through the window. Interesting. What looks like a translucent figure Don't appears on bug. camera for a few seconds. It's almost as if it's walking. We can see what looks like an arm and legs moving. CCTV videos like these are usually caused by a bug on the camera lens. That's what they always say. But with this one, it's more oh, like bug. a mist rather than a random blob. Exactly. So if it's not paranormal, no idea what else this could be. It's the uploader mentioned that the store was built many years ago, and his wife Katrina used to work there. She told him that it was common to hear the cooler doors banging shut. Was it well no done a burial around. ground? Other former store employees also began sharing their stories, confirming that they've seen strange apparitions of wispy silhouettes while on shift. Plus, Humansville is known for its violent history, including the skirmish on March 26, 1862. 
The town is considered to be extremely haunted, renowned for ghostly apparitions and disembodied voices echoing throughout the streets. So, this seems like a pretty cut and dry paranormal punch in the face for that staff member. Could be a stupid but clack. Effects such as print through, a type of glitch that causes overlaying videos to form figures on the screen, are also quite common on CCTV cameras. Hey. Does this look like a video error to you though? Let us know. Yes, comment down below. Do it now. Number two, we're almost done. Imagine working in a meat packing plant and being the last one to lock the premises for the weekend when everyone's already on their way home. I mean, you're stuck then there you for the weekend. Then come back on Monday morning to find this bone chilling clip while checking the security camera. Oh, it's the ghost, uh, ghost Jack. Not yet. To be fair, after realizing the afterlife means more work, we'd all be angry enough to smash up the place oh, I'd too. Be pissed. On a serious note, though, could it have been a mechanical fault or a terrible warehouse ghost rider? Who knows? You will work for eternity. No. If nothing else convinces you to chuck that Ouija board down the drain, this scary video one. probably will. Back when he was a child. Brandon Castonin was laying in bed during a Halloween party his parents held. Obviously, the night wasn't complete without some drunken communication with the spirits, so the adults decided to conduct a Ouija session late at night. Dumb. There was one problem though, they never closed the session. Oh. To close it, you need to move the planchetta to say goodbye, but it was cast aside instead while the party continued. Since that night, Brandon's father believes he opened a portal for something to latch onto him. He's like, I should have never touched but it. It looks like he wasn't the only one caught up in the mess. Brandon moved into his own house decades later, finally ready to live a life without fear. But and it, followed it him. seems like something followed him. Ha ha! After multiple attempts to catch the activity on camera, he managed to record this. It's like, way to go. Sounds like somebody's shuffling. Or shuffling. Open up the door and be like, ha ha! Oh, I forgot about that one. It's like a face. Yes. Such a small little baby stove. That you missed it, didn't you? Nope, I saw his face. Look closely at the bottom right corner of the screen. Someone or something is hiding behind the wall. But when he goes to investigate, there's nobody there and nowhere for anyone to hide. The ghastly white complexion and what looks like long black hair is enough to send anyone eye. running for their spare brown pants. Do you think his father's drunken mistake followed him into his new home? Probably did. Or is this a clever bit of acting and editing? Let us know what you think in the comments. Do it now. Hey, here's a playlist full of creepy stuff caught on camera for you to enjoy. Do it now. And don't forget to join us on Fish and Clash. Do it Download now. it using the link in the description and use our code PARANORMAL for extra stuff. Thanks for watching. Stay, Stay in the dark. The dark. Another great one by Goose Pimples. If you want me to do the next best scary videos of 2023 of the volume three, comment down below. Let me know if you guys thought these were real, fake, fact, fiction, whatever have you. Like always, don't forget to subscribe on both channels. Hit the like button on both channels because it helps out more than you guys know. And we'll see you guys in the next video. So with that being said, keep it real, keep it safe. And as always, keep nerding on. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.